Hi again. So today we're actually going to hear the story Waiting for Wings by Lois Ellert. The cover on this book is kind of interesting because it looks like it should go this way. But if I held it this way and opened it up, then the words would all be sideways. So this is just what it is. Waiting for Wings by Lois Ellert. And remember, we already know what this is going to be about. And we're going to be thinking about how caterpillars are different from butterflies. Waiting for Wings. Out in the fields, eggs are hidden from view. Can you see where the eggs are? They're under the leaves and they kind of blend in a little bit. Right here. Lots of, they look like blue polka dots. Clinging to leaves with butterfly glue. Who knew there's something called butterfly glue? And now they've turned yellowish. Soon caterpillars hatch. They creep and they chew. Each one knows what it must do. Find a place where winds don't blow. So they have to be safe and sheltered from the um, heavy weather sometimes, heavy rains, winds. Then they make a case in which to grow. And that's your chrysalid, right? That's what we have hanging in the net right now. It looks kind of like that. Caterpillars, caterpillar changes now begin. Body and wings take shape within. When it's time, each case is torn. Wings unfold, new butterflies are born. They pump their wings and get ready to fly. Then hungry butterflies head for the sky, looking for flowers with nectar to eat. So remember the caterpillars ate leaves butterflies are looking for nectar. That's the sweet juice that comes from flowers. They catch a whiff of something sweet. They follow that fragrant scent of perfume. Until they find our garden in bloom. We've been waiting for wings. We watch them circle, land on their feet. Unroll their tongues and begin to eat. Do you guys know what we call that long tongue that butterflies unroll? It's got a special name. They call it a proboscis. They dip and sip. Then fly away back home to the fields. They have eggs to lay. And that's the end. So here are some of the butterflies, different kinds of butterflies. There are hundreds of different kinds of butterflies. 
but these are some that we might see in the United States. Monarch, the tiger swallowtail. This is the painted lady and this is the kind of butterfly that we have growing in the chrysalids right now in our net. So when they come out, they won't be this big. They'll be quite a bit smaller than that. But when they come out, I'll take a picture of them so you can see them. They're called painted ladies. This is called a buckeye right here. And that's the side of it. Yeah, beautiful story. And these are some of the flowers that they really love. Impatience, hollyhocks, Indian blanket flower, phlox, lantana, butterfly weed, marigolds, black-eyed Susans, verbenas, pentas, flowering tobacco or nicotiana, sweet william, purple cone flower or echinacea, cosmos, butterfly bush, zinnia. Really cool names, right? Thank you for listening, guys. So we're going to be writing about um, the differences between caterpillars and butterflies today. So think about that. Think about where they live, how they move, what they eat. So yeah, cool stuff. Bye, guys.